Welcome, my name is Kristen Pierce, and today I'm talking about other people's energy in your space. So this is you, this is the energy around you. All of this belongs to you. Now, the problem comes that when you interact with other people, sometimes they leave something behind and you can't see it so you don't know it. Where you would notice the problem is in how you feel. Someone comes into this, your room and yells and yes, they upset you and yes, it is a problem, but when they leave, they leave some of their energy in your space. So long after they're gone, it's still bouncing around in your space. And even with people that you love dearly, such as a partner, there's always expectations, beliefs, and they just drop it off. And it doesn't necessarily leave. So as your space begins getting filled up from the people that you interact with, and this is their energy, not yours, you might start feeling unhappy, sad, angry, in pain, full, achy. Any of these would be symptoms of having other people's energy in your space. And as this might go on for years and years and years, and you might not recognize that this is a problem. You just start feeling more and more depleted, perhaps depressed, perhaps hopeless. And you might say, oh, I'm an introvert. I just need more alone time. I just need time for me. Well, that's true. And you could be a person that takes on other people's stuff really easily and then just doesn't let it go because you don't even know it's there. So how do you fix this? That's their stuff, not yours. Their stuff is like putting the wrong fuel in the car. You don't run well on their stuff, whether it's good stuff or bad stuff, it doesn't matter. You don't run as well on things that aren't yours. So how to deal with this? First, you need to make sure that you're full. You're full of energy that is yours and is there to support you. So if you haven't watched the green light grounding video, take some time to do that when this one's over. Green light and pelvis drop down to the center of the earth, which will help you feel more anchored and strong and less likely to take on other people's stuff. Also, bring energy up from the center of the earth, connect from above with gold, and then fill your space with green, your body, your space around you. Next, once you've begun filling up, you can use your breath and your imagination to visualize and feel as you exhale the person's energy back to them. And given that they've left something behind in your space, it's possible that something of yours is in theirs. So set the intention, imagine, that there's a pipeline that brings what's you back to you. This does not hurt them. It only helps them. Gives them more of their fuel for themselves so that they can deal with whatever they need to deal with. And it brings back to you what you need to live a happy and full and energetic life. You deserve it. This is your space. Fill it up with what's meaningful for you with what is for you. So thank you. This concludes today's lesson on other people's energy in your space. The follow-up video for this is going to be a guided visualization on energy, bringing it back to you, and letting other people's go. Thank you.